Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Jet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a jetatorial. Eight firefighters were injured, including two critically, when their fire truck rolled over on State Route 241 in Irvine, California. The accident occurred as the crew was returning from a 12-hour shift battling the airport fire. The California Highway Patrol reported that the truck swerved to avoid a ladder on the road, causing it to lose control and overturn after hitting a guardrail. Six firefighters were hospitalized, with two in critical condition. The truck was described as top-heavy, making it susceptible to rollover. The crash remains under investigation. The firefighters had been working to remove fuel from the fire's path since September 9th. In other developments, a polar bear was killed by Icelandic police near a remote cottage in the northwest after it was deemed a threat. The bear, which had come ashore from an ice floe, frightened an elderly woman who locked herself upstairs while it rummaged through her garbage. Authorities consulted with the Environment Agency, which declined relocation. Polar bears are not native to Iceland, but their sightings have increased due to sea ice loss from climate change. Although attacks are rare, the bear was shot to protect human safety. Scientists will study the animal's remains. In other updates, Constellation Energy will restart Three Mile Island Unit 1 to power Microsoft's AI data center with carbon-free nuclear energy. The Crane Clean Energy Center will create 3,400 jobs and add over 800 megawatts to the grid. This move aligns with Microsoft's goal of decarbonizing its operations while providing stable revenue for the plant. The restart reflects the growing role of nuclear energy in meeting environmental goals without building new facilities. Public support for the plant is strong as long as it doesn't lead to higher taxes or electricity rates. In another update, a Fairleigh Dickinson University survey reveals that 10% of young men in the U.S. display problem gambling behaviors compared to 3% of the general population. Online sports betting and slot machines are seen as especially risky. The survey, using the Problem Gambling Severity Index, found 45% of men under 30 reported at least one problem behavior. The National Council on Problem Gambling examined state laws, noting gaps in protections for gamblers. While states like Connecticut, New Jersey, and Virginia have stronger consumer protections, many others fall short. The council urged regulators to address the disparities in gambling laws nationwide. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.